Janine, tell me about autism in South Africa. Um, what, what's the state of it? How many people have autism? It's increasing at quite an alarming rate. Um, the, we don't have local statistics and we've just actually started um, getting all our figures together for the Western Cape. But globally, it's one in 68 children are diagnosed with autism. Wow. So that's, that's pretty high. And what is autism? It's a neurodevelopmental disorder and I stress the word disorder because a lot of people think it's a disease yeah. and so it is a disorder it's not contagious and um, disorder is almost the, the wrong word for it because it puts a negative slant on it uh, although autism is incurable it's it is treatable mm -hmm. and um, it's a neurodevelopmental disorder that affects the way the brain and the body um, act and um, there are certain certain aspects of it, sensory aspects. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of the autistic people they they don't like bright lights or loud noises, and um, they're very can be very rigid in their thinking. And communication is a problem. It is a, a large spectrum. The people on the lower end um, are are nonverbal and yeah. don't communicate. And then you have your higher end of the spectrum. Um, which was and still is known um, as Asperger's, where they can they do communicate, mm -hmm. um, but um, everyone on the spectrum has social interaction problems. Um, although the the people on the higher end they can communicate, they have problems reading social cues. Uh, they won't often look you in the eye, and yeah. so even although they are verbal, there are still social interaction. Problems. Now, how did you get involved in working with autism? Um, I was local. I, um, I qualified as a social worker mm -hmm. um, when I was about 40. I decided I'm going to go back into my passion. And when you get out of university, they all want you to have experience. Mm -hmm. So I thought I first volunteered, then I locumed at a few places. And then um, someone said, Well, don't you? They're looking for a locum at Autism Western Cape. So I said, that's great. My son is on the higher end of the spectrum, so um, I'd like to become involved with that. And then um, I've been there ever since since 2012. So. Now, what's it like having a son who is uh, autistic? Um, it's it's very challenging, um, but at the other other end, it's very. Um, rewarding and you know they've got a, he's got a quirky sense of humor and although he sometimes battles to show empathy and to show his emotions um, when he does he's, he's doing it more and more often now and it's it's just wonderful to see that when he, when he does do that and um, he's a very he's a very special child it was difficult to accept at first because you know your child is going to have a lot of challenges which other neurotypical children won't have mm -hmm. but um, is very special and um, yeah I've I just keep keep helping where I can and um, having a, a, a child on the spectrum helps me have more, even more empathy for parents and the challenges mm -hmm. that they're facing. 